heading out to search for yet more victims in Morocco's Atlas Mountains. The journey to remote earthquake-struck villages is long, with traffic snarl-ups between rescuers, aid convoys and bulldozers shifting debris. When we reach the village of Inerni, there's little more to be done. The living and dead are all accounted for. 37 people died, among them women and children. Six or seven people are in the hospital. There's bitterness here at perceived government in action. If we'd had help from the state and qualified people, we could have saved so many more lives. I worked for three days, day and night. We dug with our hands and followed the smell of the bodies. Local rescue efforts have left international teams with little to do. We get word of somewhere else in need of help. In this area, in this village, uh, the local, local people say that no person, so yeah. they found all, okay? okay? The next, the same, okay? okay. But in the next one, in, in Intala, perhaps... The third one? Yeah, the third one. This the, one okay, the next one yeah, okay. 20 minutes by the road. We set out. The journey is a lot longer than 20 minutes, and on the way we hear that rescuers from the United Arab Emirates are already on site. Our escorts return to base as we continue towards Imintala. There's almost nothing left. The cliff behind the village collapsed on top of it, leaving almost nothing left standing and destroying entire families. My grandmother died, as well as my uncle, his children, his wife, my sister-in-law and her two twins, my husband's uncle and his two children, my cousin's son and others in the family. The neighbours too. A body is recovered. It's taken two days to retrieve this broken-hearted mother's son. <laughs> The body is immediately reburied on the nearby hillside. It's in a village like Mentala that the scale of the devastation of Morocco's earthquake truly becomes clear. People here have lost everything. And even as efforts continue to recover the bodies of the dead, an even greater challenge awaits, rebuilding the lives of those who once called these ruins home.